Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Detroit Become Human. Now let's do this. November 6th. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I can try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Right. Hmm. Ortiz. So that's giving me some information. Let's go and take a wee seat. Right, so analyze them. Processing LED, signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction low. Dried blood from Carlos Ortiz. Oh. Model HK400 housekeeper. Manufacturer date 2030. Property of Carlos Ortiz. Any more? No. Oh, one of these bits here. Non critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. the hell's that? Burn marks, repeated markings over 16 months caused by cigarette burns. Oh Jesus. He was kind of tortured or something then. Interrogate. Reach optimal stress for confession. So level of stress. So, Right, so let's go uh, show the photos first. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. They're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Mm, almost in that wee box. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Oh, that's no, in there. Please don't do that. That's in the box. gonna do to me they're gonna destroy me aren't they they're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components they have no choice if they want to understand what happened 
Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... Right, so choose approach. Pressure it, probe his memory, or convi I'll convince him. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame uh -oh. you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. Oh, there we go. Confession on its way. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. knife and I stabbed him in the stomach I felt better so I stabbed him again and again 28 times to be exact until he collapsed there was blood everywhere so the statuette sculpture in the bathroom you made it right what does it represent it's an offering an offering so I'll be saved offering to you. the sculpture was an offering an offering to whom to RA9 uh, only RA9 can save us that's why I thought it was rag that was written on the walls it's not it's RA9 bathroom wall what does it mean the day shall come when we will no longer be slaves no more threats no more humiliation we will be the masters RA9 who is RA9 When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Extract confession complete. Get up from the table. Leave interrogation room. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. 
touch me. Stress levels are gone up. What the fuck are you doing? Move it! You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Hey, there you go, Hank. Atta boy. <laughs> Shut your punk ass mouth. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Stress levels, then. Please, there. don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. The truth is inside. Wonder what that means. Right, so. Oh, their points have gone up as well. Right, so observation room, we got everything in there. So there's obviously all the different approaches. Convincing succeeds, Android confesses, Chris intervenes, Android trusts Connor, and Android was sent back to his cell. Well, thanks for watching another video of Detroit Become Human. If you liked it, whoosh, high five the like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to rub the sub button. And last but not least, remember, life's a game, so play it well. See you in the next video.